Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm it's fuck and today is Friday today, so today I'm gonna be unboxing the new FC EA Sports FC E24, also known as EA Sports Football Club 24. And the reason why I picked this up is because is because um EA Sports has announced the they changing it. FIFA changing his um, name up to FC24 and and the EA Sports will have to say goodbye to FIFA logo about since 30 years since 1993 so I picked so I pre-order it I pre-order it from Argus UK which is about 62.99 so it's almost about almost 63 quid it's more expensive than the um more expensive than other FIFA games so I've got that so I've got the PlayStation 4 and PS5 version if you also if you got a PlayStation 5 you will get um if you um got a PlayStation 5 and if you want to insert the disc PS5 will upgrade it to the new upgrade it PS5 will upgrade to a free game of this and that was fantastic so I'm going to be unboxing the new FC24 now so so here I have the back here so it, it says I'm um, get closer uh, to the world's game and it's got about 25 plus other leagues including the the UEFA Champions League um, the new the new Champions League is called UEFA Champions, UEFA Women's Champions League, which is very similar to the um, Champions League, and we also got the Premier League, um, Wim Barclays Women's Championship, and EFL, which is official partner. And um, also, see here for accuracy, accuracy. It says join nineteen thousand. And plus fully plus fully pay fully licensed players seven hundred clubs and thirty leagues on the pitch. And and it's got the new data on it, it's got the play styles on it, which is cut where you strike the ball like Harland with new data powers and signature ability influenced by the world's best. And you got still got FC twenty four ultimate team on it, so so, so this one here is one to four players. You can play two to twenty two players, four to four gigs of gigabytes of minimum, juice up for vibration supported. And you can also play um if you've got a PlayStation V so you can actually just link it up by remote play supported or mobile phones or devices and laptops as well. And it's got the PlayStation 4 Pro. So if you got a PlayStation 4 Pro or or a um with a 4k ultra hd you can actually play it by a hands mode on it and uh, at an instant very very closely to up like i said i said in the video i on the playstation 5 upgrade available it says on here the playstation 5 upgrade available you can see here from the camera and on the, on the front panel it's got mr hard Arnold on it. Arnold was shooting struck from it. <laughs> so, so, and it says on the back here, upgrade to the digital PS5 of the game at no extra cost. So upgrade a digital PlayStation 4 disc copied. Players need need a PlayStation 5 um, console with a with a hard with a disc drive on it. Go to PlayStation. Then there's a flat on that. So. I'm going to be boxing now. Right, so right now I'm going to be this moment. I'm going to be unboxing. See that way you do. Yeah, nice. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so there he is with the um with the SC twenty four um the world's game badge on it. Official partner. And um, 
I go and play this game to see what that was, that was like. Because I'm going to do gameplay on this after the video. So it won't take two minutes to upload it. So. Right, so here we are, some leaflets. So, um, so um, you got, um, you, can, you can actually win. So it's got the, um, your UEFA Chub is the official partner with um, Pepsi Max. So you can win um, your UEFA Chub is the 2024 final tickets. By using, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put my hand on this because I don't want people to show it as well. And, um, it's very personal, very personal. So here we have the UEFA Champions League final tickets. If you, um, if you want, if you want to take part on this final tickets. Right, so this is um, FC Mobile. If you want, if you got any other devices like mobile phones, like Apple, iPhone, Samsung, and any other products, you can download it for free on your app store or google play store and um it says play the most game on mobile phone or tablets as well and they're back here as well um and the back here it says build your um dream squad um women's football in ultimate team play styles in ultimate team and ultimate team revolutions and it's got a structure manual on it, so um, it's got warranty on it. So here we have the disc version. So here we have the disc, and um, and this the logo thing was fantastic compared to the FIFA twenty three, which I got a recent, which I got for right. So this is FIFA twenty three, which I got for Christmas at um argus from last year and um this game is actually quite good um if you compare to um fifa 23 and fc 24 you may see the difference between um the f the fifa 23 versus and the fc 24. so harlan's um harlan has joined the uefa champions league and the FIFA 23 has got um, Mepay on it, on the front cover. And also, also I've got I've got this game in Legacy Edition on Nintendo Switch version. Now, so I'm not talking about too much in this game. Right, so that's it. So that's it of the um, unboxing of the FIFA 24, which is also known as FC 24 or EA Sports FC 24 on PlayStation 4 and 5 straight to the digital out uh, or disc version it's the playstation 4 version so hope you enjoyed this video give that a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video don't forget to watch my fifa collection on playstation 3 version and also i also i'm going to do gameplay after this video so give that a like if you any requests from my videos, let me know and leave it on a comment and I will see you in the next video. You take care. Arsenal taking on Chelsea. Well, the first game of the group is so vital. You just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. Well, nothing productive, really. Fernandez. And passing it through. And just has to remain calm. Still possibilities. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, the initial save is a good one, as you can see. But unfortunately, it drops straight to an opponent. A bit unlucky, really.
So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Gusto. Di Sassi. Good tackle. Opportunity it is. Havertz! And denied by the post. And still an opportunity. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, could that be the wake-up call for Chelsea? They were so close to going two down. They need to respond here. Caicedo. Jackson. And able to close down the shot. Oh, managing to beat him. And the keeper more than equal to it. Short corner it is. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And now to level the game. And fired against the crossbar. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. And Kessia. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Gallagher. Arsenal have it back. Well, wilting under the pressure, and now they try to go forward. Well, he's bound to be disappointed with himself. Not a great effort, Stuart. Well, the less said about that, the better. Not a good decision from him. Chilwell. Happy birthday to Alex O'Neill celebrating today for all of your friends. Moises Caicedo. Enzo Fernandez. While well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well, simple for the keeper. And the referee says penalty. Now his name and number have been taken as well, Stuart. And quite rightly so. It was a poor challenge. He was right to give a penalty to the referee, and he's right to give the yellow card. Well, we like to call things as we see them, Stuart, and I must say, he's got that one horribly wrong. Well, it's a poor decision in the end. It's way off target. That's a good pass. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Full marks for getting past him. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. Sterling succeeded in keeping it in play. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. Very quick thinking there. Well, a joy to watch. Could be a chance to break here. A real opening now. And attacking with real pace and devilment. All that was missing was a goal. Well, you're absolutely right. That's how to counter-attack. It really was a great move. He'll have a go here. Well, the goalkeeper managed to make the save without much difficulty in the end. A 
And Chelsea have given us away. Oh, in with a chance. Oh, off the post. Rather unlucky. Moises Caicedo. Enzo Fernandez. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Fernandez. Promising sequence. And let's give credit to the defending. Possibilities inside the box. Can they keep it out? And he's tipped it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Going short. Determined defending. And passing it through. And he read it well, intercepting it. Well, that's going to be all for the first.